Brakti Hawa, Brakatha, Yahawasha, Brakti Hawa, Brakatha, Yahawasha, Bahashem, Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Yahawasha is the heavenly name. Lord will you are edified. Psalm 103 and verse 20. Bless the Lord Yahweh, you, his angels, that excel in strength, meaning they are mighty, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Keep this in mind. So the angels obey the instructions of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Verse 21, bless you, the Lord Yahweh, all you his host, referring to the angels. You ministers of his that do his pleasure. Okay? So, whatever Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, one, okay, the angels will do perfectly. Okay? Case in point, let's go to Matthew chapter. 1 and verse 19 then joseph her husband being a just man and not willing to make her a public example was minded to put her away privily verse 20 but while he thought on these things behold the angel of the lord appeared unto him in a dream wait a minute but while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord, Yahweh, appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, you son of David, fear not to take unto you Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. And she shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Yahweh Shah. For he shall save his people from their sins. Now, wait a minute. Where did this angel get these instructions from? Going back into Psalm 103. And verse 20. Bless the Lord Yahweh, you his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening, listening, or obeying unto the voice of his word. This angel, right, received this instruction from Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. Okay. And the Most High instructed this angel, okay, to inform Joseph in a dream that, look, call your son Yahushai, for he shall save his people. And also, the angel giving Joseph these instructions is an example of the Holy Spirit as well. Verse 21, bless you, the Lord Yahweh, all you, his host, you ministers of his that do his pleasure. Okay. And going back into the account of Matthew, right? 1 and 21. This angel giving Joseph instructions on what to call his son was the pleasure of the Most High, which further prove that Yahweh is a heavenly name. It came directly from the Most High himself. And if anybody is saying we don't know the names okay the most high has stripped that spirit from them okay let's go to genesis chapter 28 
and verse 12. And he dreamed, referring to Joseph, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of the Most High ascending and descending on it. So Joseph was in a trance. Okay, and this is another example of the Holy Spirit. Okay, so Joseph was in a trance and he saw angels going up and down, to and fro, from the spiritual realm to the earthly realm, from the earthly realm to the spiritual realm, back and forth. Okay, and they're doing the task of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. And what proves that? Again, Psalm 103, right? 103. And verse 20. Bless the Lord Yahweh, you his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Hence Genesis 28 and 12. Bless you the Lord Yahweh, all you his hosts, you ministers of his, referring to the angels that do his pleasure. Okay, hence Genesis 28 and 12. Okay, so in Genesis 28 and 12, right? The angels ascending and ascending, ascending and ascending. And prior to this, prior to this, what are they doing? Let's use 1 Kings. Chapter 22 and verse 19. And he said, referring to the prophet Micah, Hear you therefore the word of the Lord Yahweh. I saw the Lord Yahweh sitting on his throne in the spiritual realm. Okay? The third heaven or the fourth dimension. And all the host of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. This is a council. And from the council of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, these angels, okay, receive instructions on what to do and what not to do. And then, therefore, they leave the spiritual realm, coming into the earthly realm and doing the will of our father point blank period so again Yahweh Shai is a Slakia Yahweh Shai is the heavenly name their name came directly from the heavens all right Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. It's only one name, and the correct name is Yahweh Shai. And again, that came directly from the heavens. Okay, the third heaven from Yahweh himself right and if there was another name Yahweh Shah would have informed us via the scriptures he would have said okay this is my earthly name but at the allotted time I'm going to give you my heavenly name that's nowhere in the scriptures. Okay. Lord, will you edify Shalom?